Welcome to the Cougar Report. I'm Jason Mayo. I'm Cliff Sarlo. And I have Benjamin Button disease in reverse. Daylight savings ended on Halloween night, giving us all an extra hour of sleep. Most people were too hungover to notice the next day, however, until the sun was down at 5 p.m. President Chu has approved the removal of the name of a noted slave owner from the CFC Honors College, a step in the right direction away from a history that CFC wants to separate itself from. This is absolutely a positive, and until we can think of a better name, the name will be a placeholder name taken from one of Chu's famous playlists. The proposed interim name being the Weezer Honors College. CFC has introduced online ordering for its dining halls, a dangerous service considering you won't be able to smell your cafeteria food until it's already on your plate. The College of Charleston has been ranked top among green colleges in the nation. This, of course, is only taking a look at the college itself and not the off-campus student body that strews about natty light cans in biblical proportions. And now for the topic that's on everybody's minds, the election. Ballot misprints have left us in the dark on who will be taking the seat in uh, the ever-important office positions on the Dorchester District 2 School Board. I'm willing to bet that favorite for a seat, Ashley Wimberly, is biting her nails in anticipation for those results. What's your take, Cliff? Well, let me tell you, it's a tight race. According to our exclusive polls on Swing Street, Nottingham Court, things are just as heated as ever in the historically divided battleground cul-de-sac, with the Robinsons on one end voting red and the Johnsons across the street voting blue. Which is confusing, considering school board is a nonpartisan position. And that is all of the election news that we will be reporting on. Nothing else. That was all big news surrounding the election, but what we want to know is, how did the average voter feel about the voting process? Here to comment is local punk and proud voter, Dave Curtis. Thanks for having me on, corporate tool. Okay, so Dave, tell me, how did the voting process go for you? It rocked. Showed up to that poll, last one there, because I'm late for everything. I walked straight into that building. Lady asked to see my ID. I simply told her that no little plastic card could ever sum up my existence. Really stuck to them. Right, but did they not let you vote because you wouldn't give them your ID? Oh no, I voted. I simply told her that if she refused to let me go past, I'd punch her right in the face. She got so scared to let me walk right on past to a place. Really stuck it to her. Right, yeah. So, anyways, you're standing in the booth then. Mona Truth, how are you feeling? <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Wanna know why? Because I wasn't gonna vote for Trump. I wasn't gonna vote for Biden. I was not even gonna vote for the libertarian guy, Joe Gorgon Shinta. No, 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 no. I wrote, it simply wrote anarchy. Right there on that ballot. Walk straight out. Like a true badass. Dave, you wrote in anarchy? on your ballot, you realize that that accomplishes nothing, right? <laughs> Maybe not in your tiny mind, you puppet. But that right there, that was my declaration. My declaration against this stupid country, against their stupid rules, their stupid voting, their stupid democracy. And that, that was me saying that I am gonna fight the man right to my last dying breath. And you want to know what I did after I did that? What'd you do, Dave? I graffitied up a wall. And do you want to know why? Let me guess. To stick it to the man? No. I was contracted by a small business. They asked me to paint that uh, to paint that wall with graffiti. I did just that. See, art. Art is how I express myself. Express my inner feelings. It's hard for me to do any other way. But with art, I've been able to sit through all the baggage. I can find happiness, truth, and beauty that way. Wow, Dave, that's incredible. I'm sorry for judging you prematurely there. So how'd the uh, final product turn out? I sent a pic to your team before I arrived here today. Oh, that's awesome. Can we put that up and see what it, it looked like? Dave, get off my show. And that is how you stick it to me. An individual from Berkeley County scored big on a Mega Million scratch card, winning a total of $30,000.
The winner was reportedly disappointed when they received their check for their victory dinner, at which point they realized they still could not afford to eat at the Yacht Club. This has been the Cougar Report. I'm Cliff Sarla. I'm Jason Mann. And I think cats should be tried as adults. <laughs> <laughs>